Agronomy is a study of soils and plants. So what we do as agronomists is we work on the analysis that's in the soil and also the, the removal by the crop and then we try and actually match the nutrient demands of the crop. Within ICL, we actually produce our own fertilizers. So we mine uh, a lot of potash. I think we mine about five, five and a half million tons a year. We have the only mine in the world that actually mines polyhalite, which is hard rock. We, we extract that out of the ground and when we bring that up above ground and we crush it to size, we call that polysulfate. I'm responsible for all the research and development on the polysulfate-based uh, products, which we call Fertilizer Plus. We do research all over the world. We work very closely with some universities as well, and we're working with Dr. Apostolos Papadopoulos from Crop Intellect on those areas. I've been working with ICL for five, six years. We're doing trials to look at the performance of different products, biostimulants. We've been testing them on potatoes, other cereals, barley, wheat, and also dried. So comparing the spring and autumn. The aim of these trials is to see if the products improve the quality and the yield of crops. As an agronomist, when I actually set up a trial, I have a plan of action that I'm trying to look at. We're actually looking at the quality of, of the grain or the quality of the oil, or we're looking at the yield responses, depending on the, on the kind of crops that you're looking at. When we're running trials, we have different replicates in the fields. So we could have five or six different replicates like we've got in our cereal crops. And what we do, we have a control in there. And that's a, that's a farmer's practice. So that's basically the, the farmer has, has taken advice from an agronomist on what he should be putting on his crop. And we use that as our standard. We look at our programs and we match the nutrient requirements compared to what the agronomist has recommended. And we see if our program will actually improve over the standard practice. So having a control in there is really important if you're actually doing a trial. It's the way of actually proving to farmers that by using ICL fertilizers they get the best response from their crops. Ten years this July I came back to the home farm. I'd done bits and bobs in harvest and such but my great great grandfather started it then on to my grandfather and then my father and now myself. I've only been in farming for 10 years and the changes I've seen in those 10 years are just amazing and I'm sure somebody that's been in there for longer has seen even bigger changes. The technology that's available to us and reliable now is absolutely first class. It's moved, moved farming on. One of the biggest issues to farming globally at the moment is the use and, and the loss of nutrients from, from soils. Now this can be very costly for farmers as well. You're paying a lot of money to put these nutrients onto the field. You want to get as much of that into the crop as possible. The product polysulfate differs from other fertilizers in the marketplace because of the way it actually releases. Polysulfate is, is, a, is a hard crystalline rock. So when you apply it to your fields or incorporate it into your soils, it releases over a longer period. So the first time we started using polysulfate was 2014. Uh, it was just a product that we didn't know a lot about, thought we'd have a go with it and it's come from there. It's helped with the sulphur and all the other bits and bobs that's in the product and there's, there's definitely this year more than any other we've seen, we've seen an increase in yield. So there's no doubt about it, fertiliser is needed. We can, we can farm without fertiliser but everyone would go hungry. Polysulfate is a major factor in how we do our fertiliser programme now. It's our only source of sulfur, which for the, has only been the case for the last two years. So, major, it's, we, we need it. So we work with ICL to distribute their product to both dealers and farmers around the country, and with that provide advice on how best to use the products. So we blend polysulfate with several other fertiliser products. It's very flexible in how it can be used and what products it can be blended with and also in when it can be used during the season. Most other fertilisers are very soluble when you throw them onto the ground, that they will literally dissolve and they're in the soil profile straight away. Polysulfate releases over a longer period of time, over 40 to 50 days. Now this helps the plant and that's the availability of nutrients, especially sulfur, because it wants that, that sulfur over those 40, 50 days. It's a single crystal that contains potassium, magnesium, calcium, and sulfur. 
And because they're released over a period of time, the root system has more chance of actually taking those up. Polysulfate is good for farmers because the sulfur is a slow release sulfur. Polysulfate is really important to what we do at Origin. It's the only product that we have that has a slow release form of sulfur. ICL are the world's first and only polyhalite mine, so without ICL we couldn't sell and distribute the product. I joined ICL six and a half years ago. I joined as the UK and Ireland sales manager for specialty fertilizers. January in 2017, I joined the ICL fertilizer team and I am now responsible for the development of polysulfate. So I will work with our new agronomists and talk about how to set up trials, what to look for when you're in the field to, 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 to show the positive results to our dealers and to the farmers and how to collect data at the end of those trials. My days change end from day to day, week to week. It's one of the best things about being an agronomist is we're outside all the time, which is it's great when it's sunny, it's not so good when it's, when it's raining, but we, we, have, we have the best jobs. It's, it's wonderful.